How to create an invoice in ClickUp. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how we can actually create a invoice or at least an invoice template because ClickUp does not actually offer invoicing here. So you would actually want to still have some sort of an application where you can actually do invoicing. But in here in ClickUp, we can actually create the invoice template. So let's just go ahead and jump into how to do so. So first, you will need to just go in and open up a project um, there where you want to actually add that to. I'm just going to use this one as an example, and I'm just going to click on templates here. So just click on the three dots and just choose templates. From here, we can just go in and see uh, many different templates for invoices where we can just adjust them accordingly and obviously edit them uh, to become our unique invoice. And then we can just send it out. So we can just click on browse templates and then we just want to search for invoice. Now, there are plenty of invoices that you can actually use or um, designs at least. Here we have creative design, we have invoice, and also when it comes to docs, also you can add a lot of invoices here. Um, but I'm just going to be using this for the sake of this example, and we are just going to be using this and editing it accordingly. So just go ahead and click on use template. Uh, and then here you'd want to just give it a name that you would be able to identify easily. I'm just going to name it test. Sorry about that. Test invoice because it's just a test anyway. And I'm just going to click on use template at the bottom. Now, here's the thing. It's just going to create a template here for us where we can just go ahead and adjust it accordingly. So first, uh, you would want to obviously remove some of the stuff here. Uh, like these two because they're just you know instructions and then here you would want to obviously replace this with your own uh, logo so you can just go ahead and uh, replace this by removing it uh, I don't think there's a replace button so you would want to actually just go ahead and remove it and then you would want to basically just add an image so we can just go ahead and add the image real quick so just attachment and then browse and then I'm just going to use this as a logo. Now it is not a proper size because it's not actually a logo of mine. It's just you know an image, but you would want to have a proper image, uh, logo sized image. Anyways, here you can obviously change the uh, invoice number, invoice dates, and also the due dates. You can just simply just highlight the uh, things that you want to change and you can just go ahead and start adding the date for you. Here you would want to add your address. And then here you will have the information that you want to set up. So build to, you can actually add the address here as well. And then from here, you can just go ahead and set up the quantity, unit price total, and also the description of the items. So here we can just go ahead and adjust this so it is a little bit bigger. And we can just simply remove or add as many as we would like. Uh, and here you can obviously change the stuff uh, like so you can just go in and click on it and maybe uh, it's another test here and you can also set up the price unit price and the total for it and you can just go in and keep scrolling down until you finish up if you don't even want the rest of these sections and stuff you can simply delete them so whatever you actually don't want you can simply delete it's completely fine and you can just go in and see at the bottom here a few stuff that you also would want to highlight which are going to be the terms and conditions and also the um, here is going to be a note. If you want to add one, it's completely up to you. And make sure you set up the total to be proper. So let's just go ahead and make this a little bit simpler with only three items and no more sections here. We can just go ahead and click on the things that we want to remove like so. And I'm just going to do so for the rest of the uh, items down below, including this one right here, which shouldn't have been there. Uh, so yeah, you can just go ahead and keep removing them and we can just go in and, and settle with this for the time being. Obviously, you would want to adjust the total here. Um, and then you can just go ahead and send this out to people. This is, I believe, the best we can actually do when it comes to invoicing with uh, ClickUp because it does not actually offer the uh, future in itself. So we can just go in and actually uh, send it out uh, to people with this. We can just go in and export it and send it out as a template. So this is all there is to this video. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.